Hello everybody and welcome to the Sora Online Alicization episode four the end of book one. Wait, so that that's the whole book? That's volume one, yeah. What? what How short are these books, man? What do you mean volume it's a light novel, you know the light novel. They're not like bloody Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, fair enough. Alright. <laughs> so, so at this rate we'll have 40 episodes if every all of them are four mm. which we're having more than that so they're not gonna be they're not they're not gonna be for all the four episodes well i presume some of the books are a bit more meat like more happens in some certain ones right uh I, uh I can't remember too bad too much i mean i have i've only read half so or slightly, oh, well, slightly over. i've read six out of uh ten so is Oops. that like ten that are out in the UK or like ten out of? No, ten total. I've re I've read all the ones that are out at the moment. Oh, okay, Officially, fair obviously, I know there's fan translations before people are like, you can read them fan all. Translations. On... Yeah, you can mm. read them all on this website, and I'm like, no. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I can't read mm. it. I it's struggle to read it on a screen. It hurts my eyes. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you, you know, you know, I don't read the light novels. I read those mangoes. You can't so. read. I can read. I read. I'm read Ready Player One. Thank you very much. I can read subtitles. I can read. I can read books. I just prefer what reading the manga. You're like I can read. I just yeah. don't want to. I like the pictures, man. What well, can I say? There's pictures in light novels. Yeah, but pictures. Okay. 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 Speaking <laughs> of pictures, I'm gonna talk mm. about the pictures later because there's a picture that's not in the goddamn anime that was in the light novel, and I don't understand why they cut it out. Oh, I'm I'm now intrigued. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I mean, I'll mention it at the end because that's what mm. happens. But Matt, okay. this was a good episode. Oh, mate! They made yeah. like the most trivial of fights epic. Yeah, like I. So I'm gonna say this now. I'm you know I, I don't mind 3D animation. Uh, but when you mix match the two. With like 2D and 3D, it just looks wrong. Did they do it in this? Yes, I the didn't goblins notice are all 3D rendered. They were not 3D rendered. They were not. You're no, a liar. No, they were. No, they definitely were. They were not. They were 2D. No, well, no. When they were like, not not when they're like up close, but when they're all in the backgrounds and things and moving, all 3D rendered, and oh. it looked like shit. I wasn't paying attention to that. I was paying attention. Yeah, see, to I the awesome it just myth. it's those little things that the just big, really the big really one wasn't annoy me. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, no, but when they were all in the background and walking and things, they were all 3D rendered, and it just looked wrong. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, nah, I, I did. Okay. It just looked wrong. Is he is he right, comments? If he's right, I will give him the benefit of the doubt, but... Um, well, it just looked odd. I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan when they mix-match art styles. Like, when things are mixed-match... It's not even art it styles, just it's weird. just, like... Or animation styles, then, I guess. Mm. It does look weird. Goblin it Slayer. Just, Goblin yeah. Slayer, does. <coughs> oh, God. I'm dying. Goblin Slayer does that a lot. Like, he'll be CG yeah. and everyone else will be drawn. It just looks bizarre. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, CG. Mm. It, just, yeah. Nah. Uh, it, I mean, when they were up close, it was fine. It was just the odd thing. It's like the smallest little thing, but still. I mean, I didn't notice it, so it couldn't have been as bad as it's been in other shows. Mm. But, uh... It was still somewhat bad, though. But it's fine, it's fine. At least the fighting was, wasn't... was I think I better say this now, though. Moving, mm. moving on briskly from that. Best yeah. best version of Swordland. Yeah, it was good. Season one, they were like, let's have an orchestra. Season two, they were like, electric guitars. The movie, they were like, let's put them both together. And season mm. three, they were like, let's just hire a choir. Yeah. Let's just drop a choir. Mm. Read. It just it, like every time I hear Swordlands, though, it just gives me goosebumps. It does. Like, uh, it's so good. It is just great. It's an awesome little piece. It is. I guess we should talk about what actually happened in the episode, like, as opposed to just, oh my god, wasn't that bit really good? Mm. I mean, to be fair, not a lot really happened. No. It, that... A lot of it was kind of a fight. Um, yeah, but it was an awesome fight. It was an aw yeah. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> uh, a lot happened at the end. They, uh... That's true, that's true. It's, yeah, but, so... We'll start at the beginning. Wait, it, yeah, yeah. So it kicks off, you know, where it left off. Um, they're in the, in the um, the, 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 cave, the crystal cave, yeah. The crystal cave, um, and Yujiro's freaking out, which is you know, he's fine. freaking out, man. I'm freaking out, man. That's oh. that's Yujiro. 
Yeah. Um, and then Kirito's just kind of telling him what's up. This is what we're going to do. Kirito's what I want like, you to do. listen, I've fought so many raid bosses. Um, and Yuji is like, ha, 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 guys. So he's like, I don't know guys. if I can. And then Kirito, uh, Kirito just runs out. And he's just like, he's just like okay, uh, you're not ready? Cool, sure, let's go. It, it's real Leroy Jenkins kind of moment. Yeah, that's uh. And then Swordland started playing, which was, as we've already established. It was good. It was very good. Mm. Also, can, can we just say, like, <laughs> when Kirito threw that sword to Yu-Gi-Oh, if it was even slightly off, <laughs> he would just skewered the guy, because he yeah. literally threw it so hard that it jabbed uh, into the ground. <laughs> yeah, into the, the hard rock. <laughs> the hard rock. Like, <laughs> uh, just... just... <laughs> It's okay, he, his aim was fine. He's great, mm. grace under pressure. Yeah, just the whole, this just the whole choreogra the choreography of this fight. Tra what's the word? I don't know, I, just, I was thinking in my head, I was like... Choreography? Chore choreography, yes, there you go. But, um, just it was done awesome, just so well. Like, it was really, really well done. It was really good. Mmm. But it just, it was just beautiful. <laughs> You know, it was what very nice and... One of my favourite parts of the fight, though. Like, mm. Swordland's blaring, Kirito's being Kirito, and then he just gets bitch-smacked. A music abruptly stops, and he's like, shit, that really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it was a good fight because it showed kind of, like, that he's not... He yeah. is both very powerful, but he is also very susceptible to being just owned. Yeah. As we find out when, after he chops off the Goblin King's arm, and yeah. Goblin King's like, oh, Lizard King even. No, he's a goblin. He's like, oh, no, no, yeah, he's called the Lizard King, though. He's a goblin. Yeah, yeah, he's a goblin, but he's called the Lizard King. He's not called, is he? Did, yes. Okay, well, I, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, he was just big goblin, okay? Yeah, he's the, he was the Lizard King. He's not an important but, character, so I did write his yeah, name down. Yeah, so after he loses his arm, he's like, you fuck my arm! My arm, and then, <laughs> then he kind of like slices at Kirito, and he, Kirito gets his, his kind of top of his arm sliced. Open. He almost gets like gutted. <laughs> almost, yeah. Um, and what? that's when we learned that the the pain, because he was like, "This is like nothing I've ever felt." Yeah. So I'm assuming that it hurts just pain, as much. Pain as what is I wrote. just like in real life. That's what I wrote. Yeah, which means that poor Yu-Gi-Oh man. <laughs> Poor Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> he felt that. So, Spe yeah. Speaking of almost getting mm. gutted. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh did all... Wow. Well, you, he, he came closer. Yu-Gi-Oh saves Kirito. With the, mm. with the, because then Kirito starts freaking out as well when he's on the ground. Yeah, which so, is fair enough, you know. Fair like, enough, he's like, crap, I can actually die. Yeah, I can actually feel this as well. And then Yu-Gi-Oh, while he's saving him, gets sliced. It like gets like... He should have been cut in half, realistically. Um, yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll agree with you there, yeah. It's like, but he wasn't, he was just almost cut in half. Hmm, But uh, Then as he's laying there dying, he, uh, th th he remembers Kirito, and Kirito remembers him. Just for a brief moment, though. Yeah, their memories get, like, unlocked, which was mm. a little bit cool. It is pr yeah, it was pretty cool. And then Kirito's all like, how dare you hurt my friend? Swordland kicks in again. I'm like, ah! Oh. Then Kirito just destroys the, ki the Lizard King. Decapitates him <laughs> as well. Oh, uh, we didn't mention it. Very gory. <laughs> this yeah, it was. There was, there was a, lot a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Like, did previous Sword Arts have any blood? Uh, maybe a little, but not, not this much. Not really. Yeah. Probably this one episode had more blood than like the whole like, yeah. previous the previous two seasons and the movie probably. Like added up, yeah. I don't remember seeing well a lot, if any, blood, if I'm honest. Oh, I think he might I think his arm gets cut at the end of season one when they're fighting in the parking lot. Ah uh, yeah, I yeah. I think that's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. There probably is. Like more blood that's shown, but I just I can't remember off the top of my head. This was a lot more than. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It this was, was like, a lot of blood. <laughs> it was like his his head got cut off, and then blood just went splurting everywhere. Mm. I'm like, oh. And he he's just holding his head, 
And, yeah. and this this was when I was like, oh, yes, Kirito is a freaking badass again. He's the real <laughs> Goblin Slayer. Yeah. So he holds up the the the, the lizard's the lizard the, the goblin's head, and he's like, "Yep, yeah, I killed your leader. You know, if you want to stay and fight, be my guest. But you know, just just run on home." Yeah. The goblins are like, "Fuck that shit." Mm. And this is when they run away, in freaking three D, and it's. Just Wait, like, really? Th- I really didn't notice yeah, it. It was. Are you? I. I it was very obvious. I didn't notice it, so. Okay. I mean, I am like legally blind, so. Mm. It it was incredibly obvious um, okay. watching it, but yeah. Um, and then you know he's like he's like status like what's, yeah, what's, he's like what's crap. Yu Gi Oh is dying very quickly. His his freaking he's ga- being game ended. Um, he's got the bleed status effect. The the bleed. Yeah. So he's like, why, why Selka? Selka, get over here. Selka, you might know magic. Help me. Yeah. It's like I know you're not very good. Actually, no, now she's like, I know I'm not very good, but you know, I'll, I'll give it a go. Is that her voice? Um, sure. Uh, and Kirito's like, Kirito's like, you're not your sister. He came yeah. to save you. Ah, save him. Yeah, save him, please. He's my friend I've known for a day. Yeah, but no, he knows at this point that he's not. He's known him forever. You know? Yeah, yeah, fair, fair. But um, and Selka's like, okay, okay, I'm gonna try something. It could be very dangerous. We could all die. Um, I hope you know that. <laughs> Kirito's like, I'm not like you people. I'll survive. <laughs> I'm not like you people. <laughs> you uh, people is like not real people. I mean, they're, yeah. they're real to me, yeah. damn it. They're real to me. They but got... yeah, they you use transfer. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know. Transfers their life. Transfer that life force. Um, use pain split. Am Asse- I right? Essentially, what they did is they took blood from them and gave it to you. It was a transfusion. Yeah. Now I like the the idea of being like they're using the move pain split more. Uh, but... It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. But uh, then Kirito passes out because he, he he's uh what's what's the word of antisept not antiseptic when you <laughs> if your blood gets taken from you pass out what's that called? I don't know. Anemic? Is anemic the right word? No, isn't anemic like when you just don't make blood or something? I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not antiseptic, which is what I said first. No, that, that's like when it's clean. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, not important. Hmm. Uh, so he passes out, and then we get like a cut back to the goddamn tree. Oh, yeah, but now nah, this is cool, though. This is cool. This is really cool. So yeah. Kirito's looking at his stats, he's like, ooh! Ooh, ooh, I'm good enough now. I leveled yeah. up. Ooh. I can now I can now use this sword. So he's like, don't worry, I got this. And in one hit, he does like I think it's about like nine thousand like damage to it. He does a lot of damage. In like one hit. It's like that's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, exactly. Like, like that meme. Um but then Yuji's like Yuji's like my go. Teach me. Teach me, Sensei. <laughs> Senpai, teach me. Yeah. And this one, Kirito's like, don't worry. It's the Einkrad style. I came up with a name myself. The name, completely original name. Yeah, I didn't steal it from anyone. From Akiko Kayaba. Akihiko Kayaba. Akihiko Kayaba. Akihiko Kayaba. I wonder if he'll show up. I feel like he will. Well, he's in the machine, right? Well, he's in all the... He's on the internet. He's every... Yeah, he's, he's basically the person from... Um, Avengers two. Uh, that was that was Ultron, right? Ultron. He's basically Ultron. He's yeah. basically Ultron. He's gonna get a robot body. Then he's gonna like, he's gonna be like, you, you humans suck. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> I think he will show up because he is in the intro. Yeah, but so's Yuna. But yeah, but you, so Yuna might show up as well. But she's not in the light double. That's not possible. Yeah, but we've already established that they're doing stuff okay. that's slightly I, different. I hope they do. I think they will add stuff, because we worked out it'd be about 40 episodes if mm. they do four episodes in a, a thing. So. so we'll get, like... I, I want to see... what. So we'll finish this episode, then we'll talk, I'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah, good, good um, shout, good shout. So they kind of, you know, Kirito's teaching Yu-Gi-Oh! We get Kirito Yu-Gi-Oh! becomes Yu-Gi-Oh! like a fanboy. We get the, tra- the training montage. The training montage, yeah. Which is cool. It was cool. I'm not going to downplay it. I liked it. it. I was like, yeah, yeah. bros. Mm. And also, it kind of 
makes sense now why in the trailer they're like fighting the exact same way. It's because they literally are the ex- they use the exact same style of fighting. So yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. And then they fucking destroy the tree. Yeah, the tree gets wrecked. I feel like we're swearing a lot today, and I don't know why. Apologies if you're offended, but uh, but grow up. Yeah, Uh, Yeah. it's just a word. It's fine. fine. But um, the tree gets riggedy wrecked some. Um, And I'll be honest, I thought the the village would probably freak out a little bit more, rather than just instantly being happy. They were like, (laughs) what's that? Just like, holy crap. Um... (laughs) I think the if tree I, fell. If I remember right, in the light novel they are. Cause yeah. he goes to tell them like, hey, I cut down the tree and they're like, uh uh what? <laughs> if I'm remembering <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be done for like another three thousand years. If I'm remembering right that happens. I could just be making stuff up, but mm. I feel like But talking about happen. like the natural like 'cause thinking about it, like if it's taking that long to cut down, surely it will grow more and and it would just be like an, a basically just an impossible task. Because uh, it will keep getting bigger throughout time, and if they're only like chipping away at it a little bit, it's like. Nah. I mean, I don't know how trees grow. Like, don't if, don't, if don't bring logic into in it, this, okay? <laughs> it's basically an an unfinishable task <laughs> unless you have, you know, plot powers. Yeah, unless you decide to use a sword instead of an axe, which is you know, dumb. <laughs> it was a legendary sword, okay. Mm. It was a legendary rarity, exactly. uh, super drop from yeah. a boss. <laughs> a boss that was already dead. True. Yeah. He pooped it out. But uh, then we get the celebration, mm. which it and... reminds me of like them. Uh... Oh man, I can't think of an well, example. I mean, it reminded me of you know in Pokemon Sun and Moon. You know, when yes, you, like, that's a, that's first solid. get your starter, that's and then a, it's like you have yep. that little party. Yeah, that's that, what I was thinking the whole time. That is a very solid example that I should have yeah. stolen before you took it. That's it's okay, don't worry. It was it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, and then I mean, Kirito not joining in. He's just scarfing down food. He's being an edgy teen. He's being a Kirito. Mm. He decides to talk to the one, well, one of two people he knows. <laughs> Well, the only the only person he knows that's there currently, because Yu-Gi-Oh gets called away. Yeah, good point. He's like, Selka, talk to me, please. Please. And she's like, well, here's why I ran away. It's because I, I wanted to be like Alisu. I wanted to get taken away as well. I mean, that, that wasn't exactly what she said, but... I mean, I'm in the ballpark, though. Yeah, the whole, the whole reason why she went there is just because she wanted to be taken, so she could be closer to her sister. I'm, like, it was, uh... She like, didn't go there because she wanted to be her sister. So Yeah. It's like, well, listen, you're a child, so you're allowed to do stupid things. Hmm. And you almost got ki- sold by goblins. And who knows what they would have done. I do watch Goblin Slayer to find out what they would have done. I will uh, when it comes out yeah. on dub. I, th- I think it's today. I think it's out dub already. Yeah, I think it's today. Dude, you can, you're going to message me later and be like, Connor, what have I just seen? <laughs> what have I just witnessed? Yeah. But then, mm. then Yu-Gi-Oh's up on, like, the, uh, not really a podium, it's like a small stage. Uh, and they're, like, the, uh, elders, like, he cut down the tree, what do you want to do now? Mm. And, and at this time, <laughs> it's kind of like a weird tension moment. I don't, I don't know why there's, like, kind of a... Because he... then he just goes, like, I, I will be a goddamn, um... Swordsman, I got swordsman. you, Swordsman, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be Kirito too. Kirito. 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 Oh mate, that's perfect. No, Yu-Gi-Oh's his own character. Damn it. He's basically he's basically an echo fighter of Kirito. No, stop it, man. That's essentially what Yu-Gi-Oh is. Although I think in um, Fighting Climax, that anime fighting game with Kirito and that in it, one of the alternate costumes for Kirito is Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> they know. They know. They know. They know. <laughs> yeah, but then everyone, the elders, like, why are you becoming a swordsman to do this? And you just like, nah, nah, don't worry, I'm just gonna go to the capital city sometime. I'm just gonna go to the capital city where well, we completely skipped over Kirito hearing the voice as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> the voice. Alice is like Alice, kind of. He's like, I'll wait in the capital city. I'm in this oh. place specifically. Make sure you make your way here. Come save me, please. <laughs> 
and only, only Kerry to heard it. He's like, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> but there. Doesn't, there... doesn't question it, though. No, no, he's the main character. Mm. But yeah, then Yu-Gi-Oh finally talks to Selka after six years of ignoring her because he's a, a, a bad person. Uh, he, just, he just didn't... He couldn't bring himself to. I, yeah, I get that. I get it. He's like, hey, I'm going to go save your sister. Don't worry. I got your back, yo. Wait wait for me. And yeah. she she get, she got the freaking, you know, the cryings. She's like, it's okay, though. She's like, it's okay. Oh, wait. It's okay if you, you don't pick me. I love you. I'm, I Please. know I'm probably the better choice, but... Yeah, I'm underage, so... Well, they're definitely the better choice. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. <laughs> Not actually. Yes, that's, that's like two memes now in this video. Dude, we're, uh, we're, on, we're on fire. Mm. Yeah. Oh, while that talk was going on also, Kirito is being like a creepy... He's being a... He's just hiding... Nah, he's just, you know, he's just... He's behind just... the tree. He's making sure everything goes okay. Yeah. So if it didn't go well, he would have stepped in and been like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Stop being a little bitch and just you know. Yeah. Talk to her, damn it. Yeah, that's that is. I think you're right. He would have done that, but he was like, yeah. uh, he's like a proud parent. Nah, he's like an older brother. <laughs> he is. But uh, also at some point, I think we skipped over it. Selka's like, hey, you have to all come back. So. Yeah. She's like, hey, go yeah. get Alice, and bring her back. And Kirito's like. That means they're not all gonna come back. Kirito's like, yeah, okay. I got this. Kirito won't come back because he'll go home. Yeah. Kirito will go be, home. He'll be rezzed. Yuji will be like, well, he said he was going back to some place called Japan. I don't know what that means. <laughs> He's going back to Japan. <laughs> well, because because they, they've never heard of it, they would pronounce it weird. That's how it works, true, isn't it? True. Yeah. Listen, I'm not racist. They are. <laughs> But then, but what I was well anyway. So that's basically the episode. Yeah. But um, they they set off at the end as well. Yeah. Kirito so what I was again. saying like earlier that I said I just wait until the end. What what I kind of want to see. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if this is in the light novels or whatever. Well, well, we'll find out. But what I kind of want to see is like what, how the other like other games are going in a way. You know, like I want to see a little bit of you know Gun Girl. Yeah, just I, I don't think we will. <laughs> I don't think we will either. But like. I want to see kind of like how things are going with everyone. I think we kind of I, been. I think we might see like what everyone's doing. Mm. I think we might get some real world stuff next episode if we're following the light novels exactly. Because mm. beginning of I want, I want to see. Too. I want to see freaking some Asana being you know, Asana. She's like the heartbeat monitor still works. Damn it. That means he's alive. I swear I'm not creepy. This this has a point. I promise. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to see a bit more real world. I mean, I know it's. It's like it's it is this it is, is what we're here for. It's kind of in thing. the title. Yeah, I know, but it's it's like I kind of just want to see how how at least he got there because as of right now we still I mean we know I know. Yeah. Oh boy, you'll you... love next episode then. Oh yeah. Uh, um, ne- next episode, I got a feeling I'm gonna be falling asleep at because I was falling asleep at this part in the book because it's just exposition. Oh yeah. And now uh, it's gonna be exposition. exposition that I've already heard. Lovely. So, but what was that picture you were talking about? Oh, right. So in the light novel, um, the night of the fest. I think, yeah, I think it's the night of the festival when Kirito's talking to Selka. He bloody kisses her on the forehead. Oh. I, I forget the reasoning, mm. but there was a reason, and they completely didn't do it. So. Ah. Don't know why. It's because he's engaged. Damn it. Yeah, but he's what... a faithful husbando. Yeah, but he's not though. Why? Because he kissed a 12-year-old on the forehead. Yeah, but not in, like, a sexual way. It wasn't a sexual way, but... Yeah. I mean, he does apologise to Asuna while he does it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's like, so I'm oh, sorry. Right, so he does it. In his like, head, he's like, sorry, sorry Asuna. Love, my love. Yeah, basically. Well, I just don't get this why isn't they... sexual. I don't get why they cut it out, though, is the only thing. Mm, it probably wouldn't have gelled well, considering she's a 12-year-old girl, but... Right, still. because they never do anything with underage girls in anime. Yeah, Never. but this is 2018 now, so... I don't care, they still do stuff. Bloody the the bad sister show. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how old she is in that. Probably young. I don't really care. She's 18, but looks 12. Aramanga She's Sensei, 18. they got the bloody, like... The, the, oh, yeah. She's like 12, isn't she? <laughs> the one that likes to play the piano naked. 
What? Because why not? Did that happen? Yeah. Bloody hell! I need to rewatch her Omega Sensei. <laughs> it's the ch- the ne- the chick that lives next door. She just like was playing. Oh, the, piano the best naked. one. Yeah, best that's girl. Her, got like, it. Got it. Yeah, that's her freaking thing. Basically, Rem. <laughs> Who's Ren? Uh, the cat girl from Demon Lord. Ah, okay. Let's see. What were Good. we talking about? Sora, right? Ah, yes. So, yeah, next episode, I'm probably gonna sound really, really happy. Hey, man. Don't I mean, worry. I'll, you'll I'll be, enjoy it. I'll probably have a load of notes. Like, here's how everything works. <laughs> here's how it happened in the books. Here's how it's different. It's not. <laughs> It's not at all. I mean, as long as they get through the exposition in one episode, that's pretty much the best I can hope for. <laughs> is that a possible task, or oh, is yeah. this wishful thinking? I mean, it's possible, but it is like half the book. So it might <laughs> take it might take two episodes. But that I'm sounds not... like a terrible book, man. Well, you remember <laughs> in season two when they took the sitting in the cave for 40 minutes and they're just talking in the cave? Oh, yeah. Yeah, basically that. What, was that like a half a book? Oh, no, I don't remember how it was in the book, but in the anime, it was like 40 minutes of them in the cave talking. Yeah, that's true. I like, Jesus. Happy Cave Talking <laughs> Simulator 2014. When was it 2014? Season 2, yeah. Jesus. I know. Ain't that I'm weird. old, man. Yeah, we are old. Good lord. Okay. Well, anyway, that on, <laughs> on that on that note... Uh, yeah. Join us next week for episode five, where uh, the real world. Yeah. See. You. Bye. See you next week.